Acts chapter 17, verse 6. And when they could not find them, they dragged Jason and some of the brothers before the city authorities, shouting, These men who have turned the world upside down have come here also. So, the disciples, they were busy having an impact on the world. Yes, the followers of Christ, the early members of the church, they were wreaking havoc in the world system. The people were distressed, the leaders of the city were distressed because there was a wave of change that was going through the city and so they went and they grabbed them and they brought them to the magistrates and they said these are the men who've been turning the world upside down now that sounds like a bad thing they're turning the world upside down they sound like troublemakers sound like people who are disrupting the peace Look at this. Here is what happened. In the Garden of Eden, when man sinned, man fell. The scriptures tell us, and we all know of it as the fall of man. The world order got upended. It was turned upside down because it should have been God as supreme. It should be the things of the spirit that were first. So it was spirit, soul, body. Man, however, gave up his dominion to Satan and the world was turned upside down. And so now it becomes body, soul, spirit. In other words, the normal priority, the natural priority tends to be ourself, tends to be body. But that's how we've been used to it. So now we've looked on an upside down world and think it is the right side up. So when the disciples came and started doing God's will, and flipping the script, flipping the order, turning the world right side up, the persons thought they were turning it upside down. But it was upside down before. This is turning it right side up. That's why the scripture speaks about us walking uprightly so that we now walk uprightly. It is our job as children of God to disrupt the order, disrupt the natural flow and the natural sequence because that is the wrong way. That is the upside down world. We must disturb it, turn it right side up, so that God's will can be done in the earth as it is in heaven. If you are not disturbing anything, if you are not making any difference, then you are not accomplishing the plan of God for you in the earth. Let's talk about that. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Let us turn the world upside down, which really is right side up. God bless you.